Just a pass through as a rehearsal. Okay. Four, three, two, one. The only thing that I would say would be uh, on the um, yeah um, on we, the way that we're doing it is the first note is the F. Okay. And you're going. So. So what is it now? Oh. Like, I thought. It was, yeah. It that. sounds like that, but it's oh, not. Oh, it's, okay. Let's do it one more time. I was practicing that all wrong, man. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I apologize. It's my Not fault. Problem. All right, you uh, ready to give this another uh, shot through? Yeah. All right. So it's just one to three right away. One, three, three, oh, one, three, three, oh. Five. You just fired Kirk Hammett. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That works. So yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sunglasses, dude. Sunglasses. No. Oh my god, this would be so funny. Just sit there taking pictures of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, okay. All of my hopes and dreams What I knew I could be I gave it all for you I gave it all for you Tony Iomi, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Iomi. Or at least he wishes. Actually, he was just here. He's no, gone now. Totally. He like gave us a new riff. <laughs> we decided to throw it on the EP. We're gonna hold off on distant memory. Explain that one to him. What was your idea? Um, about what? The EPs. He's drawing a blank. He's in awe of himself. No, I think we decided we were going to release sort of an album, a, a full album, but split it up into three four-song EPs. And, kind of a cool idea. Hell yeah. So, the, our take on it is the first EP would be nothing but kind of middle ground heavier stuff like you've heard coming out of these video blogs and uh, uh, so stuff kind of like Dream that's already up on the, on the Reverb Nation page. Second one would be kind of scaled back a little bit more, I don't want to say pretty, but lighter stuff, you know, which would be where a distant memory would fit in because it's an all acoustic track. Maybe kind of like Jar of Flies or something. Sort that's of a good, that's a good uh, analogy there. Of course, we haven't written it yet, so we no. just have to see, you know, what happens, but uh, that's kind of a good uh, way of looking at it. And then the third one, what would you say, Cowboys from Hell? <laughs> I don't know. I just think... I guess we'll see when we get there. Yeah, but that's kind of the plan at this point. So, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer to get the EP out because we originally had our four songs pretty much done, but we decided on this today. We think it's a pretty badass idea. And then Mr. Uh, Iomi's distant son here 
came up with a really, really awesome Black Sabbath type riff, and we're going to throw that song on the, uh, on the currently working EP as well. And I can't wait to get that one out to you guys. Probably going to Black Sabbath it the whole way through, you know. Not trying to say we're trying to copy Black Sabbath. I'm just, you know, it's, it's, it reminds me a lot of that anyway. And yeah. It's, it's it totally cool. Feel. Definitely. But we're going to put our own stamp on it, of course. Uh, anyway, so that's what's going on with that. Otherwise, in the last week, we had uh, a good friend of mine, Rob Mutchler, who's also known as Barab from 99.7 The Blitz, came in and put down bass on the song, which we were calling Foo Metal, but uh, I think the title I'm going to call it is Mine. What do you think of that title? Does that work for you? Or is it too much of a taproot ripoff? I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that later. All right, we'll figure that out. Anyway, he put down some bass on that. We got the vocals done for that song today, too. It just needs to get mixed. Got a mix, uh, Point of No Return, the one with Steve from Idle Black and John from Enemy by Morning. So we've got some work to do to get this done. And now that we're writing a new song, it's going to take a little bit longer, but, you know, it's going to be totally worth it in the end. So, All right, so other than that, just keep checking out our shit. We appreciate you guys liking the stuff so far. And, um... Peace. Yes, that's it. Oh, you gotta get used to me making an ass of myself as where I was going. When his friend... I'm a sexual panther. Wow. <laughs> when his friend... <laughs> nice! <laughs>